Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important problem from definite integrals and in this uh, session we are going to discuss this uh, definite integral uh, where we have the limits from 0 to 3 and uh, our integrand is, is square root of x cubed uh, divided by uh, 3 minus x right so here uh, we are going to uh, solve this uh, definite integral with the help of uh, beta and gamma functions right so uh, let us start and let us first call this integral as i right so uh, in order to solve this integral let us first uh, take the help of uh, the method of substitution so let us substitute here uh, x is equal to uh, 3t Right. So here uh, we are introducing the variable t uh, such that uh, x is equal to uh, 3 times of t. So dx over dt is now equal to uh, simply 3 because the derivative of t with respect to t is 1. So we can now write uh, dx is equal to uh, 3 times uh, dt. And now here uh, the limits of integration vary from uh, 0 to 3. So when x is equal to 0 then uh, 3t is equal to 0 and this implies t is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 3 then 3t is equal to uh, 3. So t is equal to 3 over 3 that is equal to 1. So when x varies from 0 to 3 then uh, t varies from uh, 0 to 1. So let us now express this integral uh, i in terms of t. So here we have uh, 0 to 1 and x cube is uh, equal to uh, 3t cube and in the denominator we have uh, 3 minus uh, 3t. And here we have the uh, exponent that is 1 over 2 and dx is equal to uh, 3 uh, dt. So now uh, we can write uh, 0 to 1 and here uh, 3 cube is 27 and this is t cube and in the denominator we can take uh, 3 common so we have 1 minus t. And here we have uh, the power that is half and here we have uh, 3dt. Now here we can cancel this 27 with 3. So this is 3 times 9 and uh, we can now write 0 to 1 9t cube divided by 1 minus t. And here we have half and this is uh, 3dt. Now the uh, square root of uh, 9 is given by uh, simply 3 and uh, t cube raised to half is given by t raised to uh, 3 by 2 and in the denominator we have 1 minus t raised to half and here we have uh, 3 dt. Now 3 times 3 is 9 so we can take this 9 outside the integral. And here we have 0 to 1 t raised to 3 by 2 and we can take uh, this term to the uh, numerator and we have 1 minus t raised to minus half and here we have uh, dt. So now this integral uh, i can uh, now be written as uh, here we have 9 then we have 0 to 1 and t raised to uh, 3 by 2 can be written as t raised to 5 by 2 minus 1 because 5 by 2 minus 1 is equal to uh, 3 over 2 and here uh, we can now write 1 minus t raised to half minus 1 because half minus 1 is equal to minus half and here we have dt. So now uh, this integral is uh, uh, similar to the uh, beta function that is uh, beta m comma n is defined as the integral uh, 0 to 1 we have t raised to m minus 1 and here we have 1 minus t 
raised to n minus 1 and here we have dt right so for uh, the positive numbers that is uh, m and n are greater than 0 uh, the beta function which is also known as uh, Euler's first integral is given by uh, 0 to 1 t raised to m minus 1 1 minus t raised to n minus 1 dt right so this integral is similar to this one and if we compare these two integrals then uh, we can easily find that m is uh, given by uh, 5 by 2 and n is given by a uh, half right so we can now write i is equal to uh, 9 times uh, the beta function that is beta of 5 by 2 uh, comma here we have half so now to calculate the value of uh, this beta function uh, we can make use of uh, the relation between beta function and gamma function so uh, beta m comma n is given by uh, gamma m times gamma n divided by uh, gamma of m plus n so now uh, this uh, expression is now uh, 9 times gamma of 5 by 2 then we have gamma of half and in the denominator we have gamma of 5 by 2 uh, plus half right so now we can uh, write 9 and here uh, gamma of uh, 5 by 2 uh, can be written as uh, 3 by 2 times half times gamma of half because we know that gamma n plus 1 is given by n times gamma of n right so when we take n is equal to uh, 3 by 2 then here we have gamma of 3 by 2 plus 1 and here we have 3 by 2 and gamma of 3 by 2 so this is gamma of 5 by 2 and here we have 3 by 2 uh, gamma 3 by 2 can also be written as half plus 1 so again applying uh, this rule to uh, gamma half plus 1 uh, we can write 3 by 2 then we have half that is n times gamma n so here we have gamma half right and gamma half is uh, equal to square root of pi so here uh, we have 3 by 2 times half uh, times square root of pi so this is 3 by 4 uh, times square root of pi so here uh, gamma 5 by 2 is now equal to 3 by 4 uh, times square root of pi and here gamma half is square root of pi and in the denominator uh, we have 5 plus 1 6 6 over 2 is 3 so gamma 3 is given by uh, 2 factorial because we uh, know that gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial right so gamma 3 can be written as gamma 2 plus 1 so here n is 2 so we have 2 factorial that is simply 2 so here uh, we have uh, 2 so now we can uh, simplify this expression this is 9 times 3 that is 27 and here 4 times 2 is 8 and square root of pi times square root of pi is simply a pi so the value of uh, this integral i is given by uh, 27 pi uh, divided by 8 so viewers this is how by the application of uh, beta and gamma functions uh, we can uh, easily evaluate uh, these kind of integrals.